You're about to watch the first episode of the Backyard Barbecue Invite from Embers TV. In this series, follow me around as we go to different content creators, different pit masters, different outdoor cooking enthusiasts, and we're gonna get an exclusive look in their entire backyard setup and watch them throw down. Just think of the cribs of barbecue. Without further ado, here's episode one. So I learned this method from my boy, Al Fragoni. Uh, and a lot of people have always asked like, how do I cook with pellets? And you throw them right in the fire. Uh. Open pellet smoking. That's how it's done. Right here on Ember's TV. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Backyard Barbecue Invite. This is the first episode and it's in my backyard. I want to give you guys a tour, but we're waiting on my boy Carlos to get here so we can cook these wings open fire style. First thing we got to do is build a fire, so let's do it. So right now we're going to start this with coals. Once we get this real nice and lit, we're going to start adding some wood in there and then once it all turns into embers, it's going to be good flavor that we're going to add underneath the grill to cook these wings. We're going to get the torch on here. Now let's get this baby lit. Or as my boy Mel would say, fire in the hole. I don't know, it's something about the smell of charcoal, man. And that's good. I think that's a good start right there. Once these coals, you know, start turning into embers, we're gonna add some wood to it. I got some almond wood that I'm gonna throw in here once these embers are lit. Hopefully by then Carlos comes with these wings so we get them prepped and get them on the grill. Let me put this guy on speakerphone too. Yes daddy. <laughs> What's up bro? Where you at? I am pulling up in like two minutes. What you got on my wings? I got your wings baby. Hell yeah. Let's go. This is what they call almond wood here in California. And the way you get the flavor out of it is by slapping it. <laughs> Fuck that hurt. It's going in hot. So the reason why I stack the wood like this is just to bring in a lot of airflow. You never want to just throw it over the, the coals. It'll burn it, it'll get it hot, but you're not going to get a lot of flames like this by letting that air expose underneath. You know, you get that airflow, and just like with any kind of fire, fire needs air. So having it above the coals like this, it's gonna help it catch fire just like a way it did, like in a matter of seconds. And it also smells good. <laughs> oh, guess who's here? The wings are here. Yo, yo. What is up? What up? About time, man. Eh? Got the chicken. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do this. Got the you fire ready? Rolling. What are we cooking? So we'll man. What's up, man? <laughs> TFTI. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, man. Let's go. Hey, man. How are we going to walk past this bar without taking a shot? You know, you're right. Let's go. Let's do this. You know what it is? Gold bar whiskey, man. Gold. Niner edition? Yeah, let's go. Oh boy. Thanks for coming, man. Of course. I mean, I'm I, I'm never gonna miss an opportunity to come to your backyard. Right on, man. Everybody wants to be here, dude. Yeah. Have you given an official tour of the backyard? I have not. Right. And so we can do that today? Let's do it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. All right. All right, yeah, so a tour, uh, we'll start off here. So the, before we even, I even built that backyard, 
I had a lawn. I had a big orange tree. I had a shed right here. I had a playground. And whenever we had people over, it was only this awning area. Uh, we had this built. Th this is actually the second time it's been built. The first time it was built, it wasn't built the correct way. Yeah. So there was an inspector over there inspecting the house right behind me because um, the house was getting rebuilt. While that was happening, the little bootleg awning we were getting built, they were building at the same time. So we got cited for it. As much as we loved it, we had to tear it down. So we had to do it the right way. You know, we got a contractor, we got the permits and everything. And then it's what you see now. Now it's permanently built to the house. Yeah, it was the first thing that was ever built back here. What's funny about this bar was this bar is built out of the wood from the old awning. It's perfect. <laughs> Everybody was like, you need a bar. And I had all this wood from the old awning sitting over there at the side. And me and my homie one day, we tore it, you know, tore it down or not tore it down, but we built the plans and we use all that same wood to build this awning, except for the top. The top, you know, we had to buy that stuff. I, I did all this though. I did the epoxy, I did the lighting, you know, got my Niners, got my Giants in there. This is my car club here. And yeah, now it's what you see today. The Gold Bar Whiskey Bar. I feel like, and this is like the signature spot. Like I, I've been over here so many times and there's, you know, 30, 40, 50 people crammed around this bar it doing is, man. shots. It's, it's one of the popular spots in the backyard only because this is where the, all the alcohol is at. And then, yeah, we also watch the games right here. Before we walk any further, this is another thing here that I built out of the wood from the old awning. Uh, because we have a lot of parties here, this is where we take a lot of the group photos, whether it's family gatherings, whether it's barbecue events, birthdays, you name it. This is where everybody wants to take photos. Yeah. Because we could fit so many people in one spot, you know, like bleachers and shit, yeah. you know? It's the glamour shot bleachers. It is. I it love is. it. Built out of my old awning that we had to freaking tear down. <laughs> now this is like the, maybe one of the most iconic backdrops in barbecue. It is. And this is one of my pride and joys, my pride and joys of this whole backyard is, so before I even started social media, like I always wanted an outdoor kitchen because I love to cook. And I built this and I actually built this entire thing by myself. Not by myself, but with these bare hands. <laughs> you know what I mean? You notice the infamous barbecue sign, which is, you know, everybody sees it from my videos. And uh, when I have other people here that watch my videos, like this is one of the pictures that they wanna take. They wanna take selfies over here. Well, I remember the first time I walked back here, I felt like I was walking into a TFTI video. Pretty much. It was, it was, <laughs> it was an honor, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so this is where a lot of the magic happens here. Like a lot of my filming, prep, everything's here. Um, yeah. I have all my ingredients. You guys want to tour of this? This is something you guys want to see right here. Everybody wants to yeah, see sure. this. Everybody asks to see what's in my spice drawer, all right? So, world exclusive right here. <laughs> so these are all my favorite rubs that I like to use. Pretty much is what I only use. I get a lot of people to send me rubs from everywhere or they try to send it, but you know, I can't support everybody. I support the good flavors in barbecue and, and what I enjoy personally. And it's all these. I mean, I do have another drawer where this is like my salt and pepper and other kind of outside of the barbecue seasoning drawer. I have all my flavored salts. I have stuff that go like seasonings that go on everything that outside of barbecue i got hot sauces um yeah it's a cool drawer a lot of people ask for like what knives i use i don't have that many knives because i kind of you know i i get a knife i fall in love with it i never want to you know break up with it so i don't have too many knives but these are my my favorite knives that i use right here 
a few dowel strongs, a couple of custom knives. I feel like this is the one that I see most. It's in the videos. one you see the most. It's one of my favorite private enjoys. It's another new one of mine. I got this while I was in Texas uh, at the Treaty Oak uh, event that they had Memorial Day weekend. There was people handcrafting knives on the spot. And this is probably my sharpest knife here. And it's my, uh, what do you call it, uh, trimming knife. And, you know, I, I keep other stuff in here. I keep all my utensils for cooking. I like to stay organized. Uh, as a content creator, I think it's real important to be organized. So I'm not fumbling around everywhere trying to find something as I'm cooking. Another important thing, or one of the most important things that I have here in my barbecue shed is a picture of my mom. Um... Uh, I don't have much pictures of her, but this is one of my favorite ones because she's smiling and my mom had the brightest smile. Uh, my mom is the inspiration of you know everything that I do. She was the stay-at-home mom. She was the main cook. Uh, my Cajun influence is from her. She's also part Filipino, so part of my Filipino influence is from her also, which is another reason why I have this Florida Lee, you know, a sign of, you know, Louisiana from her. But uh, I've learned so much from her throughout the years of everything on how to cook. Uh, she used to experiment on recipes. And, uh, and that's kind of like how I started experimenting, you know, my cultures with barbecue was from the kind of stuff that she would do in the kitchen. And uh, yeah, she passed away 2020 during the pandemic. Uh, which is like around the time when I started building all this so she never really got to see it all um, but yeah she means a lot to me and I feel part of the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing and why I'm good at what I'm doing is because she's up there watching me helping me and guiding me and uh, yeah she'll always be in my heart and she is why I do what I do. <laughs> All right, so this is a, a hidden one people don't really see much. I keep it under here. This is kind of like my mini open fire grill. So this, I have a rotisserie on here. This is kind of where I do, you know, all the rotisseries, like skewer cooks. It also blocks the wind from over here. So this is kind of like the personal open fire pit that I normally use. Also here, this is where I keep a lot of my charcoal briquettes this is kind of where I keep them outside of the bags uh, I have my storage over there for all the you know little back stock but I keep it here it's convenient I, I have my scoop here scoop of my briquettes when I need them scoop of my lump when I need them over here I have my blood and my blood and crypt <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, right here I have my gravity fed grills. These are my two favorite grills I have here. First time I ever cooked on one was back here and I was blown away by how well they cook. They do, man. Like they're kind of an unsung hero of smoking. They right? are. It, it's one of the ones I cook on the most because it's just convenient. And I've been blown away by the, like, the level of smoke you can get out of them. You can because you can use charcoal, you can use briquettes, you can just use wood. So you can get so much smoke out of this you yeah. know what i mean compared to a regular pellet smoke over here is where everybody wants to sit out in the sun enjoy the barbecue it's kind of like when we have big parties this is where everybody wants to sit at we can watch the games sit here eat drink smell the smoke you know it's a good spot to be at because you got the bigger tv like i don't know if you guys notice but the 55 inch tv there for a lot of the games and stuff like that we have the gazebo so another chill spot that's kind of like where all the females hang out at. Um, they sit here because it's the most comfortable. We got the gas fire pit so no smoke's really in their face. So These are kind of like my Kamado style grills, my acorns. One's an automatic, which is kind of like the gravity fed in a way. There's a fan built into it so pushes the air in there so I can get as hot as I want. And then this is kind of like a regular Kamado uh, kettle style, you know what I mean? Like, so it's all manual. Got my sign right here. 
but uh, it's a it's a cool place. This is where a lot of conversations happen. Yeah. A lot of decisions are made here, you know go. what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I feel like just recently there were some conversations over <laughs> a cigar and maybe whiskey right here. Yeah, Does that sound right? Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Like this is one of the coolest spots. Maybe we can have one later. Let's and go. What's cool about this pit though too, it's I have the attachment to it so I could grill on it too. So I do a lot of open fire cooking on here also. But in one of my favorite spots in the backyard other than when I'm cooking, it's right here, right next to the fire, chilling. Right here, I got that angle of everybody in my backyard when I'm having a party. I can just sit here with my drink, my beer, <laughs> chilling, man. Yes. Yeah. This, this is the spot right here. I feel like I'm king of the castle right here. King of the castle. <laughs> All right, so here, this is the centerpiece of my entire backyard. One of the favorite grill I love to cook on. It's my Fuego Texas open fire pit. Definitely a showstopper. <laughs> it is. It's definitely a centerpiece. When people come over, it's one of the first things they see. Like, what the fuck is this? This is one of the things where I could cook like eight to 10 different things all at once. A lot of times when I do have parties, when I'm not doing low and slow, this is where I'm cooking everything all at once. And it's fun because people get to come over. You know, they're, they're not just guessing what's, what's being cooked underneath that grill, what's being cooked underneath that grill. Get to, they get to come here and they get to see what's cooked or what's being cooked. And uh, yeah, pe people love it, man. Now, it's it's lit, so I'm assuming we're cooking on this today. Yeah, we're gonna cook the wings over open fire. Uh, some simple, but uh, definitely good. And we're gonna cook some wings on the smoker also. So we're gonna do one with a Filipino recipe, and then we're also gonna do one in a Cajun recipe. Two of my big influences, two of, of my heritage and where I'm from. I can't freaking wait. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. So the smoked adobo wings are done. Now what are we doing? Uh, we're making a sauce for the open fire wings. This is going to be my infamous Cajun honey butter wings. Adding butter right now to the pot. Now I feel like every time you've made these wings and I've seen them on social media, I get pissed off because they look so freaking good. So I'm really excited that I get to eat these today. As you should be. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so my father is Filipino. He was born in the Philippines. He was in the Navy for 14 years. He met my mom when he was stationed out in uh, Louisiana, I think. And my mother, she's from Louisiana. She's also part Filipino, part Cajun. And uh, yeah, my mom was a stay-at-home mom, big cook. Uh, a lot of the Cajun stuff I learned was from her and the Filipino stuff was from my dad. So many of your dishes, they're not traditional, right? You're really going to your roots and um, kind of telling a story. Yeah. You know, when did you start? Like when, when did you decide like I'm going to upload my first TikTok? And was it a TikTok <laughs> video or did you start on Instagram? Like, it what, was, what was your journey? I, th I think I, I started both around the same time. Um, Late 2020 was when I started the page, like December 2020, but I didn't start posting until uh, January 2021. And uh, yeah, like I, I, I wasn't even planning on posting any barbecue stuff, any videos or anything like that. Uh, it was my girlfriend. Uh, she would always send me TikToks mm -hmm. of people, food creators uh, and their videos. And, you know, I. I kind of thought it was dumb like I don't see myself posting any you know stuff like that you know but you know after a while she started sending me more and more uh, 
my friends started to catch on with that conversation and then they started convincing me like you should start posting your stuff because they eat my stuff all the time mm -hmm. you know and then finally I was like you know what fuck it I'm gonna start posting videos uh, I started doing it from my phone uh, yeah and then from then on it like like I think my first viral video was some chimichurri wings and it was all recorded off my phone <laughs> and that kind of blew up and yeah it just been skyrocketing since so then you know you start your account and immediately was it like tfti barbecue tfti you knew that that was <laughs> what you were going to call yourself or how did that name come to be so years ago like like before the page um like just on my personal page like i heard an acronym you know tfti um and to me, I thought it was the funniest thing, you know. Thanks for the invite. Thanks for the invite, you know. And I was the type of guy that just played it out, you know. Like every time somebody was like posting a video or a picture, like it could have been like my friend sitting on a toilet, like. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, TFTI, dude. Thanks for the invite, you know. And uh, and you're still that guy because every time, <laughs> even when like we invite you somewhere. You're like TFTI. Yeah, I mean, I think it's funny, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then uh, you know, like, so I was I was the guy playing it out. I was posting pictures of just food, you know, like just regular people, like you know, just posting a picture of their food, right? Or barbecue. And then I had friends and family that would give me the TFTI, like TFTI. Why wasn't I invited? You know, type of thing. Mm -hmm. And so. When it was down to come up with a name for my barbecue page, that was the first thing that popped in my head was TFTI. Like, thanks for the invite. So that's ready. All right, so this is adobo wings. It's kind of like a, it's a take on like the classic chicken adobo, uh, which is normally like a stew that you cook, you know, serve over rice. But this is kind of like a sticky adobo, I added sugar to it. And then added like, you know, ginger, garlic, it's soy sauce, vinegar based, and with some bay leaves. And it's a real simple one, garnished it with some crispy garlic and green onions. This is Cajun honey butter, which is like a, a homemade Cajun seasoning with butter, garlic, and Mike's hot honey. Or you could just use regular honey. But so this is sweet and spicy. This is kind of like, you know, salty, uh, vinegary, savory. So Filipino, Cajun, Cajun Filipino. I can't wait. <laughs> so someone wants to make these wings. Mm -hmm. Where do they find the recipe? Uh, they're all over my social media. I have videos for them on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and even on YouTube. So I made some chicken adobo wings. Your guys' favorite. It's for you guys. And then here for you, baby, some Cajun honey butter wings and some adobo wings. You. You're welcome. Oh, all right. There you go. It, Let me know do you have you a, do you, is there a preferred order of what I eat first? No, whatever you want, man. Whatever I want. This one looks amazing. So this is our Cajun honey butter wing. Yes. Closer to me, baby. Try it. Oh my God. It's delicious. Oh my God. Now try the adobo ones. Adobo. The smell is amazing. You got me salivating over here. Oh <laughs> I'm gonna try it. That flavor is ridiculous. It's not, as I was watching you do it, I'm like, oh, is it gonna be kind of like teriyaki? No. This is how us pros eat wings. Yeah, right? whatever. Mm. Boom. Oh, brother. <clears throat> Thank you for the invite. <laughs> All good, man. I Thanks can't for wait. coming. I can't wait to see the the, um, the next episodes. Everyone you go film with and cook with, um, it's going to be a wild ride. It is, man. It's going to be dope. Everybody's going to love it. All the guests that we have coming, it's going to be dope. Can't wait. Well, um, go ahead and load me up with a few more. And uh, I got to get on the road. Oh, yeah. Boom. All right. Perfect. Again, thanks for the invite. All good, man. Thank you. Later, brother. Thank you for coming to my backyard. <laughs> exactly. Thank you guys for coming to my backyard. I gave you guys a tour of everything. Hung out with my boy Carlos. Made some wings. 
Looking forward to the next places we're going to go to. Cheers. Mm. That's money. If you want to see more, please subscribe to Embers TV, www.embers.tv. Use my code MONEY, get 30% off your first year subscription.